Hi there, Rob Green here from FSW UK. In this video, I'm going to talk about something called the Appian AV760, which is this little beastie here, which is a fantastically specced um, digital vacuum gauge. Okay, now it's if you look at it on face value and you just look at it on price comparison, it's a lot more expensive than majority of other, um, should we say, budget style. Uh, digital vacuum gauges like the Testo, like the field piece and most others okay so what makes this what justifies the price difference between the Appian AV760 and the rest okay that's quite simple but I'm going to take a little bit of a it's going to take a little bit of a demonstration to to show you just the full features of it and and there's the word full features okay so it's a um full range digital vacuum gauge and when we say full range as you can see on there okay it's going from it starts reading from 760,000 um, microns which is atmospheric pressure now the problem is with the Testo and all the others they don't start reading until well in Testo's case 15,000 microns uh, and in some of the other cases 25,000 microns now the problem is with that is that at 15,000 microns and even 25,000 microns, that's only the last 3% of the vacuum. You are not able to read the, the rest of the vacuum range, okay? There's a few other features with it, and forgive me, I've had to look at the notes on this because this is feature packed, uh, this uh, AV760, okay? So it has a 400 PSI over protection pressure, which is pretty good. I'm not sure what all the others do. I know the test only goes to about 70 PSI. I think it's one of the highest in the field, okay? It's pretty lightweight. It's not, you know, it's not feather light by any means. It's well protected, nice little rubber housing. Um, it has Bluetooth on there that talks to the Appian Central app that you have on your phone. So you can data log, you can check the decay test, you can um, send a, a PDF file to your customer or to your service manager, whatever. So it has all the features that um, the Testo and the field piece has and some more, okay, and a lot more. Um, one of the key features that is IP65 rated. Now, I don't know of any other bit of fridge kit that I've come across in our industry that's actually IP65 rated, okay? So that's a great feature. It has two sensors in here, um, one that runs from atmospheric down to 15,001 microns, and then another sensor that runs from 15,000 down to, I think it's one or maybe 10 microns, okay? So this thing goes low, okay? Um, and so that's how she's able to read on standard um, vacuum gauges. They only have one sensor. Now, I like the fact that it's got this little um, central outlet rather than the two port setup on the Testo. Um, I find that quite handy. In the kit, obviously, you get your batteries. Um, you get some filters because this has some fairly good oil protection on there. There's a little uh, sensor, not a sensor, the sensor's buried up in the base of this, okay? But you get a, a load of filters to protect it from the oil. And what I love about Appian is that the next level when it comes to showing you how to service your equipment and look after the equipment. There's plenty of videos on that shows you how to remove this and how to clean and wash it with alcohol and, and, uh, and make sure she's um, up to scratch all the time until she can maintain it. So some great videos on the Appian website, okay? Now, the key thing I wanna show you, okay, is the fact of what I mean or what Appian mean when they say full range, okay? So to do that, I need to connect the, um, the uh, vacuum gauge adapter. The micro, I call them micron gauge adapters, but they're just vac gauge adapters, okay? And we'll use the one that comes with it because it's uh, lovely quality, the Appian kit. We'll screw this on, okay? Now this is one of the key features I want to show you. We've got this in close up on the camera, okay? We can see it there now. Um, I'm going to switch the, I've got a TES-8 vacuum pump. I've got two high flow hoses. One go into the liquid valve, one go into the vapor valve. And I've got two core tools on there because I wanted to show you the difference between high flow, okay? Let me see if I can get the shine. There we go. I've got the shine off that now, off the test or screen. I'm going to start up the vacuum pump. Open. Now, at the moment, the test was already reading because it's reading from atmospheric. You won't see nothing on the stand side. The Appian is reading. 
in from atmospheric. It's already come down from 760,000 microns. There's nothing happening on the test stop. Now, why is that such an advantage to read the full range? Well, if you think about it logically, if you were working on a big chiller, for example, then, sorry, I didn't shut this off. So why is that such an advantage? If you think about it, if you're on a plant that are a big centrif or a big water chair or a big VRF that normally takes you several hours, right, uh, to evacuate, well, you can see the full range, you can see the vacuum range. For example, if you've got a leak on the system that you're not aware of, if you're not lucky enough to have pressure tested it, then what will happen with this? You're not waiting four hours and thinking, well, oh, this hasn't read yet, there must be something wrong with the system you know there's something wrong because you can see it stalling on the Appian gauge, which is, you know, it's absolutely superb to be able to know that, okay? Um, and more importantly, this gauge will actually tell you the difference between moisture and a leak. Now, why do I say that? Simple, okay? If you, even if you manage to get the plant down to two tor or 500 microns, the reason you do the decay test is to know whether it's going to go back to atmospheric or whether to 29,000 microns or roughly around there will tell you if there's a leak. Well, this thing goes back to zero at 15,000 microns. Most of the others, including the field piece, stop at 25,000 microns. Well, you're going to be in the moisture range slightly above that, okay? And it will store this. You'll think, oh, something wrong. You've got moisture. We need to do something about it, okay? If it goes to atmospheric, it's easy, okay? Um, so, yeah, absolute great feature on that. It's, um, it goes through, in the factory, it goes through a 10-point NIST test that it's got to meet these exacting standards set out by this American Standard Agency uh, doing the production. Doesn't come with a calibration certificate. Like I've said in previous videos, nothing that we do comes with a calibration certificate. You have to pay for that separately, okay? But, it, but it's a quality standard that's exceptionally higher and, more, and higher than most of the other sides of it, okay? Let me just read my notes a minute, okay? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So I think I've mentioned all that. So yeah, there we go. I'm look. The more I work with Appian stuff, the more I see the benefits of it and the quality of it over most other manufacturers. Um, and I love this AB seven sixty. I think it's a superb machine. Okay, it's expensive. I, nobody can deny that. But it's worth every penny because of the versatility that gives you. And if you're an engineer that values your tools and wants to save time because let's be fair using high flow hoses again I've said it in the past it's the only product that I can sell you that I can guarantee you a return on investment okay um, with the Appion if you think about it I'm almost doing the same thing with that because if you're not wasting four to five hours on on some jobs then eventually you get your money back on it and the fact that you know what's going on you have peace of mind that that extra um, investment pays dividends in the end guys i think it's a great great um digital vacuum gauge really impressed with it okay so uh, thanks for watching got any comments you want to know anything more then obviously on the youtube channel or you know where to contact me uh, by all means okay i'll see you all again soon thanks for watching bye now